Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people. It's your boy MB Set coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And in this video, we're going to try to finish all of the side quests and hunts. It was a whole lot, a lot more than I expected there would be. It was taking quite some time. So, you know, we're coming back. We're going to finish them and we're going to head to North Reach. Because we need to try to find us some snow daisies for our lovely Jill. I was about to say Gil and then I, cr I, I caught myself. Oh, that way. Okay. All right. Well, let's go then. Hmm. I see. Yeah, we got. Qu we s oh. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. Oh, sure. I was gonna say we got a whole bunch of side quests and hunts that we actually need to do, right? So. I'm not really sure how much of these are going to be. I don't really know how long they're going to take. If there's any new ones that's going to arrive. We got three hunts that we need to do. Are they going to be more after that? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, we've never been here. Come on. Grab the stuff. Parkour. Nothing here? There's something over there. But it would seem I went the wrong way. Oh. That looks like a lich. I don't think we want to fight a lich right now, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I needed to go. Darn it. I need you, Ambrosia. Come on, girl. Can you can you jump down there? Yeah, you can. Good girl. Wrecking some face. Yes, we are wrecking faces. Oh, yeah. Wrecking face. Brave. Any more? There you go. Is it done? What do you see, boy? Oh! What's up, bro? Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Yeah! Yeah, fool! This fool! This fool thinks he can do something to me. Oh, what a fool. Do I switch back to Odin? Odin was a lot of fun. Especially for like these little losers. More enemies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Way too fucking early. Oh, okay, well. You know what? I know of a quick and easy way to get rid of them. Alright. Enough. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust is just so much fun. So much fucking fun. That was harder than I expected. 
No, not really. Not really. Is this it? Is that what we're looking for? But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Yeah. Do you think Jill will like them? Yeah? She'll love them. Come on. She... Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? All right, so what have we got here? Oh, we only have one here. Okay, that's not bad. Hey, Jill. Jill. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh... Not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? <laughs> Doesn't ask her, like, are you coming? Just walks away. <laughs> There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> Tried to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. M mother was a bitch. Just, yeah, mother's a bitch. I didn't know. Now she's dead, but, you know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Torgo. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... that 
No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you... That you would always come for me. And yeah. you have. Again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over? Rosario, ten kids. Leading the new world. I don't know. Oh, that's not the other side I was looking for. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands but it'll have to do I'll treasure it forever until it withers thank you Clive for this the flowers for everything it's exactly what I needed you are my treasure Good shit. Jill did win in the end. Good for them. I guess the truth had been revealed. Was it Jill or Gav? Jill. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Very nice. Priceless. Yep. Seven point five seconds. My mouth just got watery there. I, like diamond dust is like probably my favorite move that I I want to use. I love it, right? Jill has joined Clyde's party and will remain with him until departing for Urge. Oh. Oh. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's been a while since we fought with Jill, right? All right, let's go do those side quests with Jill then. Yeah, fucking, fucking right. Let's fucking go. Now, not only that, but there's a S rank hunt somewhere in Walud, I think. Now, where is it? I have absolutely no fucking idea, right? But there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure about. I think I want to remove this badge of metal plus one and put Shiva's Kiss. Song of Winter, Autumn Gone from Frosted Lips, Oblivion, Norton Nursery Rhyme. Reduces Diamond Dust Cool Time by 7.5 seconds? Yes, please. Oh, that's like almost a, like so much stagger damage. Oh, ready go. Fly Ambrosia. Wait, is that the hunt though? That is one big fucking dude. That wasn't there earlier. 
Like, is that the hunt? You know what? There's only one way to find out. This might be the hunt. Oh. Behemoth King? Um. Uh, I, I, I found it! Shit! Four horsemen! Ah! Alright, let's go with that diamond dust then. Right? Bro, come this way. Shit. Oh, fucking Christ, man. Okay, he's dangerous a bit. Just a bit. Holy fuck. Jail! You're right! Oh, we got the stagger. Oh, we got the fucking stagger. Let's fucking go. Holy fucking shit. Let's fucking go. Oh, right in the first. Right in the fucking first. That doesn't work against that move, okay. So I need to not use it against that move. Come on, bro. Fucking got you, bro. Oh, fucking right. Let's fucking go. Oh, fucking right. Oh, come on. We got this. This, this mofo don't know what the fuck is hitting him. What is this? Oh, fucking shit. Holy shit! The fuck is happening?! Got the stagger again. Let's go fucking stagger, you bitch. Let's fucking go. Let's go, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Damn, fucking right. Fucking right. Oh, fuck!
Let's fucking go, bitch. Fuck you, you bitch. I fucking got you. Come here. Come this way. Bro, come this way. Come on, come this way. Come on. Come on, there you go. I'm gonna finish it with this. Fucking gig of. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. I don't know why I was scared. That went pretty smoothly. Oh, another one of these. No match for you, eh, Toggle? Nope. Toggle, best boy. And Jill was here too for this. Fucking right. Oh! And Joshua! I didn't realize that, though. Come on. Run like the wind. Fucking right. That was indeed some fucking good shit. So I guess I didn't need to come visit these things earlier. I didn't know there was gonna be quests, okay? I don't know. You deserve a rest. Okay? It's not my fault. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would I book where I'm living? Can I grab it from here? Can I grab it from here? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can. This house. All right. Royal Intelligence are training report in the wake of the tragic fire at Cairn Norvin in 873 V and the subsequent depletion of our most highly practiced intelligencers. All main lane strongholds were instructed to re redouble training in clandestine maneuvers. In clandestine maneuver. What the fuck is a clandestine maneuver? Improvised weaponry and assassination techniques and dispatch promising volunteers to strong gear for inspection. This report details progress made by the stronghold at Garnick in reinvigorating Walut's ranks of esteemed intelligencers. This is a Royal Army logbook. Did he take this on the Yeah. A, a complete botany of banes. I thought the demon tail of iron. White of flower and black of root, the latter of which gives out an icky gall when cut or crushed. The tribesmen of Norton Storm pricked their skin with oak and needles, soaked in such, drawing curious patterns about their arms and legs in honor of their heathen gods. The gall is passing toxicate that a single drop taken by mouth may result in cramps most painful for five days and five nights, or if applied to a wound, certain death. So I said with the needle end a young warrior's life, it is said that his skin print failed to find favor among the heavens. Mm. Okay. <laughs> is it? The folklore's fabulary, the Mughal. No spirit or sprite appears more often in Velistian fossil than the humble Mughal. Koopa! Though they are occasionally painted as mischievous souls akin to pixies or imps, most stories depict them as clumsy yet congenial spirits who delight in helping mankind with their daily labors. They are said to have sweet toots, leading to the common superstition that one must not leave cakes or other sweetmeats uncovered overnight, lest not remain but crumbs from morning. In appearance, they are described as being covered head to toe in soft white fur, excepting the small dark wings by which they are somehow able to take flight. The blight, brightly colored pom poms that protrude from the tops of their heads. And yet, there is one detail regarding the Mughal that most find more remarkable than even the orb that tops its bro the fact that the creatures actually exist. Preposterous, I hear you cry. Everybody knows that Mughals are the stuff of legend. I quite agree. But every legend has its basis in truth. And in the case of the Mughal, the fact may be not so dissimilar to the fiction. Ancient bestiaries list the white mole whose feet do not touch the ground among the bees of the realm. And the illustration besides the name? Why, it is none other than the Mughal. Of course, it is true that the creatures are not known to still survive in twins in the modern day. Perhaps their miniature, min miniature wings carried them to other climes. Perhaps they were hunted to extinction. Or perhaps... Just perhaps, they do still live among us. Hitting away, far from human view. No, just come to the hideaway. Just one there. Certainly varied. From a distance, chapter 16. The Fall of the Bearers. They did, did that on purpose. Chapter 16. The Fall of the Bearers. That might be a little attention to detail they did there, right? 
The emergence of the first Magic Adepts was widely heralded as a gift from the gods. Indeed, the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known is most likely a contraction of Bearer of the Heavenly Blessing. The wording used by the tribunes of the time, those born with the blessings, blessing, were lauded as the living crystals, as in granted high office and plentiful reward for their status as chosen ones. Over the years, this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by the bearers themselves, a development that would prove fateful. The diverse nations of the time were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church. While the authorities had for years welcomed bearers into positions of power in their own structures of state, they were mistrusting of an organization led by bearers for bearers. Efforts were immediately made to chasten the church and its followers, banning members from holding office, evicting adherents from their homes, and breaking up meeting by force. The church responded by forming a volunteer army to resist this per persecution, and yet it continued, creating a cycle of ever-increasing bloodshed and rancor, and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without. What, what began with beatings and street clashes would eventually spill over into an all-out war that consumed the greater part of the twins for nigh a generation and decimated the population of men and bears, both the deluge of blood that stained the land Christian and left an even more lasting mark upon the minds of the Valestinian people. After the bears' last resistance was crushed, the nations of Valencia came together to sign the Continent Continental Accord that initiated the system of slavery that persists across the realm to this day. Its well-known phrase, bears are other than humans as its roots in the bitter war of the years before, being the unblessed only excuse for their calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own destinies. Now, I can... Okay, so... Here's the thing, though. This is, this is where... They fucked up. They created a church and a religion that made... That they only were able... Did I read that right? I read that right, right? Those who were born with the blessing were allotted as like uh, off, yeah, granted high office and plentiful reward for their status as chores as once. And over the years, this reverence for the kind would become a full fledged religion led by the bearers themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, they made it that they were chosen. They created a religion that, that ba basically shat on everybody else. And they were given power and reverence because of that. And people got jealous. And hopefully they, with this specifically, now that we have this piece of historical information, they're not going to make that mistake again. Like right now they're fighting so that everyone is equals, right? Exactly. Everyone is treated equally. If you're born with that, you're a bearer, right? That you have access to this magic. Be grateful about it, right? Use it to help others if, if need be. That's what it should be. Use your power for the greater good of everyone. But so that you become better than them or you even to the point of religion that you're better than them right this is what i'm assuming though like they think they're better than them because you know like they're chosen ones they're being revered right they don't make that mistake again if they created this religion just for trying to find more meaning be between themselves and they were peaceful about it and all that it was was jealousy fuck the others this is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Yeah. Oh, somebody waiting for me right there. Is that what's going to happen? Somebody's going to pop out. Yep, somebody's popping out. The executors. Leaving so soon, stranger. Yes. I've been watching you. Cool. From a distance, so to speak. That's cool. Want to come Subtle. closer? I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Mm -mm. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Nope. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. Yeah, no. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Nope. Then I'll have to politely refuse. Exactly. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. And you're gonna die. Very well. 
The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. G good luck with that. Did you not? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. I need to pause here. Time out. Time the fuck out. We've been watching you very closely for quite a time now. Did he not just see me murderize the behemoth king? And yet they're still going to try to fight me? Bro, you deserve death. Let's see, shall we? That, yeah. was gonna happen right Did he saw that one coming? Was he watching closely there? Are you still here? Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That is true. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. And he speaks so the truth. We are trying to control the truth. We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge. That would bring them naught but pain. That is all. Mm. May keep the book. For now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait. Damn it. He's Batman. I disagree. Let's give this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Like... To protect the truth from people just so that they don't get offended. Good girl. Fuck off. Fly, Ambrosia. Shit happened, people deserve to know the truth. They can make their own decisions based off of that. That's it. If it hurts them, learn from it. If you can't live because of it, that's your own fucking problem. Come on, come on. Come on, Ambrosia, you got this. All right. Never forget the past. Learn from it. That's why a very awful or very good events 
from what that happened in our Safe. history should never be forgotten because we can learn from it what the fuck where's where's the goddamn fucking oh my fucking god that's right it's all the way up the fucking end there the way that this is designed almost hints that the friggin entrance is here this is twice i got caught into that it's bullshit that's what it is I guess this looks more of a ruin. Okay, I take it back. My bad. Anyways, wait, what? The fuck? Oh yeah. I gotta turn around there. Whew. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, no his right from here. history. Never forget. This must be the orphanage. Learn from mistakes of others, the or even your story. own, or learn from the good that others has done, and try to mimic it if you believe that that is the right thing to do. But never try to purposely hide the past so that it doesn't offend people fuck that and nobody got time for that bad back conservatory rank of incorporation the Kingdom of Lud hereby incorporates this institution wherein juvenile bearers are to be granted the opportunity to give themselves in service to the state as soldiers. Pray that you second them to the crystal's curse or otherwise perishing, are to be disposed of with all haste. The graveyard is strictly reserved for the uncursed bearer disposal within its bounds is punishable by death. Holy fucking fucking. Fuck. Of. Holy fucking shit, man. All these fucking people. Today's exercise will consist of the press yard, 20 sandbags for such duration as instructors shall dictate. The furnace burn intensity will be gradually increased. Oh my fucking god. Life combat. One to three. Oh my fucking god. Conditioning. This is nothing short of torture. Yeah. Did I read this one? I have recently learned that my own daughter was among the children turned to stone by the brutal training I subjected them to. I had not so much as thought of her since handing her over to the authorities as a babe. But inquiries with the military confirmed it. It was her. I have been torturing my own flesh and blood. And now I see her everywhere. Today, one of the children saw at me in the hope of receiving a few scraps from my table. It was her smile. The smile she inherited from her mother. The mother I killed for giving birth to a bearer. Their ghosts have all come back to haunt me. My daughters, my wife, all of them. All those children. So many have died at my hand. I can bear the guilt no longer. And so I have decided tomorrow, I too must die. It will be the last order I give those poor wretches. The last torment I subject, subject them to. I will command them to tear me limb from limb and enter, and enter my accursed course beneath the white tree whose crooked hands reached to the sky in supplication. And beside me, my shame, my curse, the record of all their names, all those I have wronged. Wow. Wow. This reads like a suicide note. Yeah. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Yep. Right there. The full white tree. This must be the place. Could he really be buried here? There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. This must be the registry. Wow. 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 You can't read this. Ten years old. Lithification. Nine years old. Nine years old succumbed to conditioning. Twelve years old, lithification. 
10 years old emaciation. Hans Alfred Franz, Paulina, Bruno, Joanna, 11 and 12 years old. Discipline for attempted flight. Holy fucking shit, man. These fucking pieces of fucking assholes. These, these fucking pieces of shit. And where is the architect of all this misery? It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. Frost fool. Get him. Fuck you. Oh, you guys suffer in hell. Diamond dust in your fucking face. I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. Holy fuck, man. I don't really care about that. Yeah, I think we're all done. I believe we all are all done with these. Well, before we go turn these in, let's go try to do the um, the hunts, right? Both are insane brick, huh? Yeah, I'll go to... I don't know, Kerry Norvint? I don't know. I'm just going to take a wild guess here. I'm going to go to Kerry Norvint. The Penitence Gate and the Cape Priesia Right? Where is it? That's a river gate. Heavenfall. Dragon's area. No. Holy hand. Oh, wait. The pen was. Yeah, the pen. Oh, right there. Yes. Yes. I remember that one. The Penance Gate and the. What was it? Cape? It's a cape, right? Oh, that's where. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? We were there earlier. For the for the for, for the flowers, <laughs> never realized. And then I was like, "Oh, there's right here. Oh, there's 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 some stuff here, but that's not where we need to go." So I turned around. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well we know where to go, so let's go to Norreach instead. It'll be, it'll be much, we're much closer, and then we'll just ride there. Yeah. The garrison said. Well, at least now. And now my eye help the garrison. If we would have fought it earlier, would have only had Jill with us. But at least now, this time we have both. Right? Is there a way around? No, that's the only way you can go across there. Now there's a delicious, delicious there. All right, yeah, it was around here somewhere. So, you know, is that what I see over there? Is that a monster? This would be easy. What is that? It's a stone. Thanks, Cal. Really? Yeah, go go away. Wait, there's supposed to be a hunt here somewhere then. Oh, is it a lich? Was it was it the lich? I don't think so. Oh, Bahamut. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, maybe the Bahamut. Yeah, no, I don't want all many th that much. Like trinkets. I don't need it. 
Let's go. I'll eventually do the trials, but I don't think that, like. <laughs> I might come back at some point and do them. I don't know. Was it the lich? Like all this time, was it this lich that I just walked around? <laughs> it was! Good shit. Get wrecked, fool. Get fucking wrecked, fool. You. Oh, well, that's not the move I wanted to do, but sure. Yeah. Fucking go, bitch! Yeah, fucking right! Shit. Get fucking wreck, fool. All right, let's go. Ramu, Ramu finish. Just your Oh, yeah, boy. Oh. Mm. Very nice. I'm pretty sure we have enough for now, though. Pretty sure we do. Steel! Fucking right. These things. Yeah, you and me both. All right, let's go do the other one now. There he is. There he is. Two gil, of course. Good day, sir. Hello, sir. Not of the splendid heart. Okay. Sure. I got you, fool. I'm not gonna go and murder you. Get murderized, a piece of fool. Nope, got bread, fool. Get fucking. 
fucking rat! Long live the hammock, right? There you go, right in your face. That's what I gotta say. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Dion would have been glad to have you back at his side. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, really? Could have just teleported here. Well, well. Cool it now. Yeah, but we're pretty much done here, right? Right. Some ruins over there, but eh. all right. Let's go back to uh, the hideaway now. Right. Yeah, real metals. Hmm. We never unlocked that before. All right. Let's go to the hideaway. The hideaway. I got you some shit. Vivian. Vivian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found it. The book you lost. There we go. You. You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something, that the truth is just a matter of collective belief, and that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable, that it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. Don't we all? She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? What are you guys? Yes. I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. 
I'll try. Hmm. Fucking right. Very nice. Very nice. Use. Use. You son of a bitch, Nectar! I was done with the hunts! Who? I hope it's something good. <laughs> oh, they're they're fun. They're fun. I thought that King Bohemian would have been a heck of a lot harder, but you know. Oh, we got one more here. An A rank, the Wailing Banshee, Garnet Walud. Sure. Yeah. Oh, is that where all the fucking kids got murderized? God fucking oh, damn it. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Yeah, Fallen Enigma, and we got a Forbidden Seas Orchestron roll. You earned this. Careful Whisper. Trophy earned. Every epic starts with a single word. Every symphony, a single note. This is but the beginning, and forer shall your legend be told. Forer shall your legacy be sung. Oh, forer. Forever, okay. Come again. I may have more for ya. Fucking right. Garnick Lude. Alright, we'll go do that one too. Might as well, alright. Where is thou? Oh, oh yeah, the guy up top there. Guy or girl? I don't remember. What's up, bro? I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. It is very brutal. Definitely one of the things I... I may? ...hated the more to see. Bearer registry. Yeah. I have a kid who's nine. Seeing something like that. The director was a brutal man. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. He got no worse than he deserved. Yeah. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces, like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning, never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? Oh, we'll never have that answer, bro. It's not your fault. No. Yep. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. One of their memory. Listen to Clive. See that their names live on. That way at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you. Sid. I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering. In the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity, were it not for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, this one, I didn't like this one. Simply because of the content of what we found. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, of course. All right. All right, I guess. Tell us about his adventures in... Oh, 
All right, let's read the other ones before the quest one. The greatest gift. It feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. That afternoon on Man's Hill was our very first adventure, but somehow I knew even then that it would not be our last. I will never forget that day and the simple fact that you have not either Phil my oh I fucked that up. I will never forget that day and the simple fact that you have not either fails my heart with joy so fierce I could not describe it. Since the moment we first met, you have always been an important part of me. The have that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light. When I am lost, you are my guiding star. You are just what I need. You're all that I need. You are the greatest gift, Jill. That's really nice. A hideaway welcome. Etta seems fond of the silver bow we gave her. So much so she's been taking it. Taken to setting it atop her belly as she rests. To hear her tell it, the rascal kicks something fierce when she does too. So that we got another fighter on our hands, and none too soon. I can hardly wait to teach our newest little curse breaker everything I know. Though I suppose we can all celebrate first. No need to get ahead of ourselves now. Gav. A good guy, Gav. The Triunity. Bringing together three men from different backgrounds was not to be without some difficulty. However, come together we did. For better Velistia. The Triunity was but a first step. A longer, more bitter journey awaits us all. One that will almost certainly end in hardship. Yet, what matters most is not the destination, but what we can learn from one another while on the road there. You have paved that road for us with your courage, Clive. Now we must have the courage to walk it. Your loving uncle. Treasure hunt. What? You didn't think I were just saying that stuff about Howdy Mahanjin, did you? Wouldn't you know, I've already I've already a fine spot picked out and everything. But if you're going to go on this grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy gut of yours. Take too long and somebody more clever might beat you to the prize. I suppose in that case, I could bear you one of my lesser inventions. Goddess knows I've countless mid. Making am amends. Oh, oh! One from Harpocrates. Master Clive, I am aware there are matters of such great import which demand your attention, but should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask a single favor concerning His Highness, Prince Dion. Oh, okay. Sure. It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. Yeah! Do we have all... Like, are we missing any of these? Oh, we might be missing one from Harpocrates, though. Right? We are missing... We're missing only three of them. Interesting. The Veil signboard. The emblem of the Veil. Nor reaches far-famed house of ill repute. The town is the gateway to the imperial capital of Oriflam, where waves of old money and new lap against the opposite sides of the Great Wall. However, the Veil's proprietor... Isabel knows it best as safe haven in a storm. The town that took her and the man she loved when the rest of the world shunned them. Briar's Kiss Soundboard. The emblem of the Briar's Kiss, the finest forge in Dalamil, run by his bookish and precocious young forge master, Lubor. He inherited both his forge and the role of desert hair from his predecessor. Predecessor? Predecessor? His predecessor? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. English word sometimes. The original Razuna Delamil. Though the mayoralty of Delamil, he won entirely by his own merits. Clayheart Signboard, the emblem of the Undying's headquarters in Tabor. The Undying are a secret society sworn to serve House Rossfield, and more particularly, the dominance of the Phoenix that are born into the Rossfield line, such as their acolyte's fate in the Phoenix. They will gladly surrender their lives if it should be for the benefit of their master. Rusted Battle Helm Archduke's Elwyn's Helm Worn in his victorious campaign to quell the Norton Uprising and later laid to rest upon his memorial stone. Now it steeps in Clive's chambers, a constant reminder of the bravery and selflessness of the man in whose footsteps he and his brother mean to follow. Snow Daisy Garland A fragrant diadem 
handwoven by Jill from flowers picked on the shores of Orlefice Bay. The garland rekindles memories of a more innocent time and speaks of a love that can never fade. Model airship mid's dangerous dream of flight immortalized in miniature. Though the experiment ended in failure, Mid has allowed Clyde to keep hold of the model so that one, once her renown has grown, he might sell the pieces for an exorbitant amount of gil. <laughs> the Triunity Accord, signed in Port Isolde by a representative from Rosario, Dalmechia, and Sainbrek. This mutual accord sets the stage for a new age in storm, if not officially, then at least in spirit. Scholars bond Vivian Ninetales academic cap. Wait, is that a grammar issue? I thought that if a word ends with S and then is put nine tails. Yeah, I thought there's, there should just be the um, I forgot how it's called, but l'accent. <laughs> you know, the, the, the little line thingy l'accent right next to the S, right? Uh, I thought there was not. You don't put an S after that. I might be wrong because it is a proper na proper name, Nine Tails. But hey, correct me on my English grammar, please. But Vivian Nine Tails, academic cap awarded to her upon her graduation from the University of Canver. Now Vivian shares her learning with Clive, the gift of the bonnet serving as a pledge that so long as they remain together, her knowledge shall be as much his as it is her own. Wintermed, a gift from Gav. This potent potable is made from honey collected in the Norton Territories, short summers, and fermented slowly over the next six moons. Despite an obvious inability to hold his drinks, his drink, Gav has insisted that he be allowed to share the bottle when the time comes to crack the seal. This one touched me. Clive's old sparing sword. Sparring sword, sorry. Clive's old sparring sword, salvaged by Torgal in the aftermath of the Iron Blood invasion and hidden at Clive's original hideaway, the Rookery. It is a reminder of who Clive once was and who he has become, as well as of the unbreakable bond between lifelong friends. Yep. So far, I have to say my favorites is definitely this one. And this one, the oath. Yeah, yeah. The first time we come, we came here after Hugo fucking wrecked the, the other hideaway, and you come here in the Wall of Memories, and that's there, the oath. That was nice. All right, let's go talk to Harpock of Cheese. But first, first the skies. Then the no, not first the sky, first Blackthorn. Jeez, that's what I meant by first. Come on. <sighs> there it is. The Goddard Dam. Let's run it. Let's run it up. No scratches, right? Oh, happy sweatlight. Trophy earned. All right, yeah, I want to equip it. Oh, new milestone reached. Trophy level up. I don't know what that is, but whatever. Oh, fucking right. We got... Uh, this This is the best sword, right? It has to be. There's nothing else we can do, right? Oh, wait. The sun bracelets plus one. No, it's worse than what we have now. Yeah. Can we reinforce anything? Let me just check one last time, right? Oops, wrong buttons. No, there's nothing that is better. No, I think... Yeah, we're pretty... We're very good on anything equipment. Else? Nope. Thank you, Blackthorn. Yep, there it is. Probably from what I see, unless we unlock other stuff, probably the best weapon in the game. Maybe, I don't know yet. Lawsman Harpocrates, I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. <laughs> you spoke of making amends with Dion. But I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. This was some years ago, of course, before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, 
I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education, all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government. Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons, his studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. This is cool, man. always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Um, I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. I the guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. Mm, it yeah, is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and fraudsters all, of course. But there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? And how will I know it? You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. The lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the colour. There is a waterfall in Rickmal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But try as I might, I can find no likelier location. Mm. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. See, and now we even got a connection from for Dion to this place. Like, can they not make this, like, make it feel more like one big family at this point? I don't think they can. This is unreal. It's great. All right, well, let's find, oh, this one. Yeah. Very nice. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, this one, I think. No, not... What was it? No, the Sail of the Seas. Oh, I love this one. This is a really good battle song. Oh. Oh, this game has such good music. Oh. All right, let's go... Uh, oh, wrong button. I need the map. Yeah. So where do we go? Oh, 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 wrong, wrong. The button. Yes, we go here to Ice Law. Oh. And uh, we got to go to the... Um... Oh, oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Let me... Uh, once, I, once I look, I, I'm pretty sure it was like right here, right? Was it this? The bat that... No, not the bat that comes through. Really. them. No. Oh, Garnet. Yes, it was here. Okay, we need to go there again. Because now we got a hunt there, right? 
So let's do this quest. Over here. And then we shall go to the other place and do that hunt that we just unlocked. Because why the fuck not? I'll bet you I'm going to do all of these side quests. I'm going to do all of these hunts. Then think, oh yeah, now we finally go and get to fucking wreck fucking... Ultima's face in. Like bash it in or something. Run like the wind. But then watch it. No, we're going to have another like 20 side quests after in like 20 hunts. I don't mind that though. Purple flowers blooming next to a waterfall. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Be safe. Alright, alright, well, okay. We got a parry. That's good. Always good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm kind of very high level for you. Get right, bro. Yeah. Here they are. Might as well pick enough for a bunch, I suppose. Yeah, might as well. Yep. Might as well. All right, let's go back here. Let's go back to Vadegras or Vadegras or Vadegras. I don't. Uh, what is it? Vadegras. There you go. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. All right. I see a bunch of uh, fucking enemies everywhere. But, you know. Ain't nobody got time for any of you. Kashik. Was it? Was it? We called it Nakashik fodder. Not what it was. Lols. Alright, let's go back to this little town here. Because uh, apparently now there's a fucking hunt in there. And shit, right? I can walk from here. I don't see him. Oh, there. Okay, he's gonna pop out. Oh! Oh! And we haven't fought harpies in quite a while. Nice! Let's fucking go! Uh, you know what? Fuck no. Fuck you! Woo! I'm gonna have some fun. Oh, let's go! Let's go, Permafrost! No? Okay. I tried. Ah! I fucking stopped throwing here tracks because of fucking stagger damage. Oh, that is hilarious. I'm fucking up the combo big time. <laughs> I'm gonna just giggle flare to her face. Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. 
Should be enough, right? Yep. Hunted. Hunter hunted. Oh. Fucking right. Does that mean I did all the hunts now? Is that what it is? Rest in peace. All right. Let's go back. Oops, 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 pressing the wrong buttons, pressing the wrong buttons, I'm a pressing the wrong buttons, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it head the way? Is it head the way here? Yeah. Oh, we got one new thing there. Okay, let's do, uh, let's finish hard pocket these, uh, quests here. Hmm. I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? I think I did. Yeah. <sighs> you did indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Shall I invite him to join us? Oh, uh, I don't... Come on, yes. Yes, come on, yes. No trouble. Go and fetch him. Hey, Dion. Your Highness. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me? No. It is time, then. No, only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No, I dare not show my face before him. Not after everything I have done. Come on, bro. I, I, I get it. Come on, bro. I have taken countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. All because I was weak. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. Bro, no, and come that on. Is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. Oh, Clive, you're so fucking good with words, man. I must, at the very least, offer him my gratitude. Very well, then. Take me to him. Follow me. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? You'd be surprised. Master Harpocrates, pray, accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. 
Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Is that a wyvern tail? The color is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environments in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates, I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm, for only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, Your Highness. I shall await your return. That can't be just it. Come on. Clive, intervene. Clive, intervene! Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> stepmother! Reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. Okay, step bro. Later, step bro. Thank you, Clive. Were it not for you, I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him. Not to mention the wyvern tales. I shall plant their seeds. That I might not disappoint His Highness. Upon his return. I hope the soil in the hideaway is to their liking. Why? These flowers bloomed in the bleak, black wastes of Walud. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. When it comes to expressing one's gratitude, I find that words are seldom sufficient. Here. What's this? A Stolas quill. Or more precisely, my Stolas quill. It is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So consider this my wish for you. That one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen. Well, when that day comes, I'll certainly have a lot to write about. Thank you, Harpocrates. It shall have pride of place in my chamber. This game. Oh, 
Holy shit, man. Oh, these are... Hmm. Yeah. So now we are missing two. Yeah, we're missing two balls of memories. All right. No, that's not what I wanted. Keep missing them up. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go check these out one last time. Because now there's only one thing there is to do. Hole again. Clive, it occurs to me that a single word of thanks does not nearly suffice to express my gratitude for uniting me with from a distance. The tone made me who I am today, and yet I thought that I should never set eyes upon it again. That those who took it from me had forever robbed me of a part of myself. But now I'm whole again, thanks to you. I regret that I can only fill in the gaps in your knowledge and other holes in your soul. For which reason I shall ever be in your debt, Vivian. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're missing two. Stolas Quill. Lorsman's Harpocrates. Best love writing implemented. Implement. Whose ink has penned many a learned tome. It is said that the long quilt of the Stolas becomes imbued with the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. The words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So should the day come that Clive put, puts down his sword and picks up the pen, he shall not find his one and only insurmountable enemy in writer's block. Yeah, yeah, we're missing two. Hmm. If ever I... <laughs> if ever, when I play this game again, because I most certainly fucking will... If I miss anything this time, I'm probably going to do the other ones. You know what? You know what? Maybe I'll... Eh, I don't know. I'm debating. Do I do... Do I do the trials? You know, I'm just going to pass on the trials for now. Maybe I'll come to an, another time and whatnot. But, you know, for now, we're going to move on with the, uh, the main quest. Uh, make for Origin, right? And so we'll see what happens in the next one. Is it finally going to be the final one? I don't know. What up? Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.